Hello， 大家好，欢迎回到外媒看中国，我是安博然。It's official. Xi Jinping has been elected for a third term as General Secretary of the Communist Party of China, but Western media are obsessed with more conspiracy theories. This time, surrounding 80-year-old former General Secretary Hu Jintao. And why is this drama queen wearing 27 hazmat suits for CNN's cameras? This is reports on China. Quick three. Let's start counting down. The seven members of the 20th Politburo Standing Committee of the Communist Party of China were announced this morning, which included the announcement that Xi Jinping has officially secured a third term as General Secretary. The seven walked out just after midday Beijing time to meet with local and foreign media. Now, in Chinese culture, positioning is everything. So people like me were keen to see who walked out in which order, and then which order they stood in. Of note was the positioning of Shanghai Party Secretary Li Qiang, who was in second place. This was a timely reminder not to take Western media predictions about Chinese politics seriously, since the vast majority of so-called China watchers decided early on that Li would likely not receive a high placing because of the Shanghai COVID lockdowns earlier this year. Now, I would argue that the lockdowns actually boosted his position and will now likely mean he's a sure to take over from Li Keqiang as premier early next year. Here's the ranking of the seven members of the 20th Standing Committee. As predicted, China haters around the world are in a state of global meltdown over the announcement, even taking their anger out on me. One Twitter user told me, "You are a Western of Communist Party. What kind of humans raised you, evil dog?" <laughs> I told him to wash his mouth out with soap. Despite being proven completely wrong and shown up as nothing less than idiotic when they peddled misinformation about President Xi Jinping being placed under house arrest recently, Western media hacks and self-proclaimed China experts are at it again. This time, spouting crap about former General Secretary 80-year-old Hu Jintao being forcefully removed from the closing ceremony of the 20th National Party Congress. He was escorted out just as organisers let journalists into the hall, and at first he appears reluctant to leave. Xinhua news agencies put it down to health issues, but of course the China hawks are claiming that's a lie, and heralding this as some kind of massive scandal. But they're also ignoring video of Hu being escorted into the opening ceremony of the Congress, where he looks dazed and confused, and even had to be reminded by Xi Jinping to sit down. In my opinion, Hu Jintao appears to be experiencing some kind of cognitive issue. Let's just say he doesn't seem to be fully there. It's funny though that Western pundits think that the evil Communist Party would wait right until the moment the media pool is being let in to forcibly remove the former leader in some kind of draconian purge, as they're claiming. Honestly, you just have to laugh. On one hand, they claim that the CPC is this dark, shady organization that operates in the shadows and isn't the slightest bit transparent. And then, in the same breath, they claim that the CPC just staged a high-level purging right in front of the world's media. You can't make this stuff up. The fact of the matter is, it was definitely an awkward situation for all involved. Premier Li Keqiang and President Xi Jinping look uncomfortable and slightly embarrassed. But to me, it just looks like a belligerent grandfather being told it's time to go and take a nap. We'll probably never know what was going on, what was said, or why things transpired the way they did. But I think it only takes two brain cells and a little bit of common sense to know that this was not some kind of power grab or coup or purge. But don't expect any word from Chinese officials anytime soon. They're smart enough to know that these claims are best worth ignoring. The moment they wade in with an explanation, every single word will be torn apart and analysed as further proof of what they already want the rest of the world to believe. Leave the kids to fight amongst themselves, I say. Finally, today I just wanted to share a bit of Western media lunacy with you guys. This time from CNN's Selena Wong, who's using her platform to promote the hilarious actions of a drama queen in New York's Times Square. Selena is definitely going by the CNN playbook with a dramatic voiceover and high school drama level metaphors. Let's take a look. He struggles to breathe and crawl, sweating profusely. Exhausted under the weight of his hazmat suits, he's wearing layers and layers of them. This is a demonstration from a Chinese citizen, all the way in New York City's Times Square. 
a metaphor for the suffocating zero COVID policy many feel in Xi Jinping's China. It's to mark the ongoing Communist Party Congress, where Xi is expected to secure his unprecedented third term. Honestly, if you told me that was a parody, I'd nearly believe you. Did you notice how literally no one was surrounding the guy except for CNN's camera crew, who clearly directed him so that they could get all the shots they needed? I have to say, in terms of Western anti-China propaganda, Selena and CNN will only receive a C- this time. Try harder, you guys. Anyway, that's it for today's quick three. What did you think of China's new leadership? What's up with Hu Jintao? And what rating would you give CNN for that piece? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.